Alright, welcome to another vlog. I just made a green smoothie. What is happening with these? These are blue light reflecting glasses. They're from Diff. I'm gonna take them off because I like reflecting weird. But blue light glasses can help if you're staring at the computer screen for five million years like we all are. On today's smoothie menu, we have peanut butter powder, PB powder, scoop of protein powder, banana, chia seeds, green powder, lots of powders, coconut milk, and some water. It's a good one. I have my very springy, colorful robe on. This is from Amazon. I'll link it down below if it's still available. I got it a while ago. I've been really enjoying vlogging. They're just like much more chill, mellow kind of videos, which is what I've been liking to watch too. So let me know if you guys have been liking the vlogs. But today I have a outdoor table that I got two years ago when I got this place. When I got it, it was from Wayfair and it was like a warm wood kind of color that was like glossy and really pretty just because of all the rain and stuff in Seattle it's completely worn down and it looks just like a very faded weathered wood now so I'm gonna sand it down and restain it today should be fairly quick staining furniture is really easy maybe we'll do some bacon this is vlog is gonna be like just a combo of a bunch of days like all my vlogs are just kind of put together into one video so I'm going to first edit I think I need to get some computer work done so here we go So here's a before of my table that I got last summer and just from the rain and stuff it's like totally worn down the stain so I'm just gonna sand it and restain it. I might even spray paint these. I'm finally trying the Dalgona coffee. I'm so excited. It's like the whipped coffee, but I have my water heating. That's what that sound is, but I have my cup of ice ready to go. I'm gonna pour in some oat milk. I'm gonna try it with Swerve. It's just like a sugar replacement. I don't like super, super sweet coffee, so I think I'm just gonna do one tablespoon of that. Normally you do like a one-to-one -one ratio, but I'm gonna do Two scoops of Nescafe, by the way, is a, is a lot. This is what I drink in Jordan for a year in Israel, and it's very popular in like other parts of the world, and it is extremely strong. So I might do more like one and a half, one, but I'm gonna whip it up in here. I don't have a tablespoon, by the way. I don't know where it went. Hopefully there's not something in regular sugar that like makes this work. <laughs> And then I'm going to do about one and a half spoons of water. I think it just depends on what you're using and stuff, but it says to whip it for like four to five minutes it takes or maybe a little longer. It's been a couple minutes and literally nothing is happening, but I looked it up and you can do it with Swerve. Is it even touching it? Oh my god, it's not even touching it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, let's pour this into a cup. It's starting to get like a little bit less of a liquid, so I'm going to keep going, but it says by hand you have to do it for like ten minutes. <laughs> Guys, nothing is happening. I've been doing this for like six minutes now. I don't know, man, but my arm's sore and I need caffeine. I like to call this the little Dalgona a la fail. Ooh, wait, that's actually way better than I was expecting. I thought it was just gonna taste like coffee and sugar, but mmm, that tastes really good. <laughs> I'm still getting DMs about what the AirPod dupes were I mentioned. I'm gonna link them down below. They're from Amazon. I still love them. Been using them for a couple months now. And they have the charging case. They're basically exactly like AirPods. Okay, so I got a container store order in from online. So I'm gonna show you guys. I'm doing a little bit of organizing because why not? I actually really enjoy organizing. I actually think my mom should be a professional organizer. She's so good at it. But I have two other things coming in that I guess ship separately, but the thing I'm most excited about is this container with the wood top. So I wanted to get one for coffee. Now that I'm using the reusable K-cup for my coffee, I just fill it with coffee grounds every morning. So I wanted to get a pretty one so I didn't have to like deal with the bag and everything. You know, rough. You have to deal with the coffee bag. And then I ordered the bigger version of this too that I'm gonna put protein powder in because right now I'll show you. I just have all of my powders in here and it's just a pain to like grab this giant thing of protein out and I'm also like halfway out of that so I don't even need that big thing in there and I might get a couple more for these powders and then just put labels on them I'm not sure I'm gonna see how I like it with the protein powder and I want to get a cute like scooper and then we have a couple shoe organizers because I will show you my shoe situation it's pretty bad I don't know how I'm gonna organize it yet but I got this file shoe file 
And then another shoe organizer, this one is the over the door. I don't have anything on the back of this door, so I could hang shoes here. And it's almost always open anyway, so I don't really care. The only time this door is closed is when I'm filming. This, this is bad, this needs to be organized. I have shoes all in here. This obviously like broke, this actually broke like a few weeks ago. So it was fine until it broke, but I didn't love it anyways because you have to kind of like go behind the jackets to actually get into shoes. Those are all reusable bags and stuff. I think I'm gonna do the shoe file thing on the left side because I'll have room on this rack once this is gone. I could put like a bin for all my flip-flops and stuff maybe. I recently got these on ASOS online. For everyone who has small feet, I did not know, but ASOS size fours are like actual size fours. They might run a tiny bit big, but they fit, so that's exciting. Also got these ones on ASOS. Don't remember why, oh yeah, this phone thing was like <laughs> keeping it up, so janky. I also keep my boots in some of these cubbies and then I have some on the other side too. And then when I was doing taxes, I realized I just needed something like this to hold like checkbooks and just random, I don't know, money things. I think I'm gonna use it in the kitchen because I have like taco seasonings and random, I don't know, soup packets and stuff that are just kind of like all over the place, power bars, whatever I wanna put in here. So I am so excited about my recent discovery. So I've been using this steam mop and it's by Shark. I'll link the, I don't know if they make this exact one. I actually got this a few years ago and I think I wasn't using it right or something. It like wasn't coming out right and I just thought I got a dud, but then my boyfriend was playing around with it the other day and realized that you just have to push down on here and that's what makes the steam like really come out. So now that I've used it a few times on my floors. I'm obsessed with floor steamers, you guys. I've been looking at different ones by uh, Bisol. Bisol. It makes your floors look super shiny, but I also like that I know that it's actually like disinfecting the floors fully. So I ordered more replacement little mop head things off of Amazon. So they just velcro to the bottom. Big fan. Big fan of the floor steamer. I just steamed my floors like maybe four or five days ago. Here's a clean one. That's the dirty one. In just like four days, what the heck? How does that much dirt and stuff get brought in? So when I placed an Instacart order a couple weeks ago, I got this buttermilk on accident. Like they just put it in. So I looked up recipes on what to use buttermilk for. And I found this coconut cream pie recipe that looked really good and it got good reviews. I'll link it down below, but I'm just gonna make that really quick. I already have the frozen pie crust, so I just have to mix everything and then pop it in the oven. And it looks pretty easy. It's, it's a pretty straightforward recipe. It smells so freaking good. Okay, so this is how I just used that little organizer. So basically I had all these like random little bags that were kind of just all on top of each other and I can actually see what was what. Oh, this popcorn we got in Leavenworth in Washington, which if you've never seen Leavenworth, just Google photos. It's basically like winter wonderland amazingness, but we got this in a store there. I'm really excited to try this. They had like tons of cool, different kinds of like sauces and popcorns and stuff. These are really good too. I just recently tried these. How does every video <laughs> turn into like some kind of food vlog review situation? Yeah, I don't know why I'm giving you a tour of this. Okay, you get the idea. I've run into an issue, which is that the door doesn't close, so I tried to put these on the back of this door. I feel like I do need to be able to close this door probably all the way. Right now, have it hanging on here just while I'm putting them in here. It's nice because some of them you can actually fit two pairs in one sleeve. I just have kind of like my most worn shoes here. This is what we're dealing with. I still have tons of shoes in here and then tons of boots and stuff. The issue is that anything is too short to like hang right here. If I tried to put that thing in the back here, you know? So what I think I'm gonna do is actually hang it this way and just loop the middle hook onto the actual bracket there and then the one on the right I can hook to there and then I'll just put another nail in right there so that I can hang it flat against this wall, which I think will save a lot of room and then I'll be able to hang the other shoe one down here. And I don't know, I also have that up there, but that's kind of where I have like snow boots and like shoes I don't really use that often because I literally never go up there. Okay, <laughs> so made progress. Not sure how I feel about it. I definitely can see things easier than before and I feel like it does overall look 
more organized and stuff. The only thing is I had to kind of like weirdly hang it so I don't even know if this is actually going to hold. It might like eventually rip through the plastic but I put a couple of nails in here too just to like help with some of the weight. I kind of like lifted it up and nailed it. I don't know if it's doing anything but this one is also very heavy so I don't know these might both fall eventually or very soon. Time will tell. I have my sweaters and stuff over here. This bin down here is all of my most worn boots. And then I have my two pairs of Uggs right there. And then this is empty, so I still have this thing to go through. I also have to find a spot for the reusable bag. Because I had this bag, which is filled with reusable bags, hanging. Do you have any good tips on like how to store these? Tell me because I just kind of like roll them up and then they take up a ton of room. So in this basket I have belts, a couple beanies. I have more beanies in like a winter bin but I want to keep a couple out in case it's like windy and I'm going on a walk or something. Then I have one pair of gloves, same reason, a couple headbands. And then right here are kind of my most worn baseball hats. That would be cute to put like a little label on there. I should do that. Have my label maker. Alright so here's the after. I mean, it's a tight space. I feel like it could look a lot better, but better than it was, you know? So I picked up a few things that I'm really happy with, so I wanted to share with you guys. ASOS. Oh my god, I freaking love this hoodie. It's like a crew neck. It's super thin, too, and it's not fleece. It's like the kind of, not terry, but just like cloth inside, so that'll be good for spring and stuff like right now because it's not, you know, too, too warm. Love that. I wanted to get one of those like crop, I was looking for a cropped kind of, uh, how do I do this with one hand? Workout top. This one is US size 8 and it's just like a crop tank and it's from their 4505 line and I really like this along with the leggings, I've tried these on. It is a little bit tricky to find short, short enough leggings that don't have like the big ankle if you're around my height, I'm 5 foot so same brand and then they have the pocket right here so that on walks and stuff you could put your keys if you're short these are actual ankle leggings that aren't going to bunch at the bottom the material is different than fabletics it's more of like a workout legging like i probably wouldn't wear these lounging around as much i got a size us6 i would probably be more like a us8 in these i feel like they do run a little bit small so just keep that in mind but i tried them on they fit they're really stretchy so i can still wear them and then i got these jeans from american eagle this is the only thing i ordered on there because i saw i think i saw uh, the court report on Instagram. She was talking about the. She always does like American Eagle try-ons, and I love her jean style. Like I feel like we have very similar jean style. Like she knows her stuff when it comes to jeans. She just tried like five million, and she I think wore these, so I ordered them <laughs> because of her. And I got a size four curvy short, and these are very stretchy, which I love. They're stretchier than normal American Eagle. And I like these because they are actually, again, short. They're like actual ankle ones. It's the next level stretch, and I got these on sale. The butt is the normal American Eagle. I wish they stopped doing this, but it'd be so much better with just plain. And these are kind of like high-waisted too, so they are flattering. So these jeans, they were like long jeans that were in one of my thrift hauls. I think they're Lucky brand, and I got them for like under 10 bucks, I want to say. And I just cut them to make them into jean shorts, and then I cuff them, and... There you go, jean shorts. I already got two backups of my Laura Mercier Secret Blurring Powder. Ordered two of these because I just have this feeling that they're gonna go out of stock. And this is like my holy grail product right now. I did a whole concealer routine video recently. I have like a backups section with like extras of products that I like that either come in PR or that I order. So, oh, I have another loose powder too, it looks like. Oh, I have a Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask, hell yeah. Oh yeah, this is the new mirror I showed in my last vlog. I am just gonna do some quick makeup. I just feel like putting things on my face and playing around. Have my Bayrito Pittsburgh mug here. Okay, Tatcha, still testing this new primer. I feel like I keep not wearing it for a full day. Should put the lights on just for ambiance. There we go, it's a little more festive and things. I wanna try out the Haley's uh, Luminous Finish Foundation. I haven't tried this one yet. I'm curious, cause I like their other one. It smells kinda like vanilla, I think. I'm gonna try it with a sponge on my forehead. Yeah, it looks pretty good, especially considering I have some like extra dryness on my forehead right now. Keep in mind the Sony camera I'm filming on right now, this is just a new vlog camera I talked about in my last vlog, but it does have like a built-in skin smoothing thing, even though 
it's off, it still kind of does it. So I don't use this video, this video, I don't use this camera for my beauty videos, it's just for vlogging, but just so you know, it does have a little bit of a smoothing thing on right now apparently. It must just be like built into the actual camera because even when you turn the setting off, it's still fully on. Okay, so my future very ratchet looking self right now is um, coming at you to give you a quick update on this camera. So I was filming like the makeup part and it was adding the major skin smoothing thing and I was like, okay, we gotta figure this shit out because it's, it's a little much and it's off. That's the thing, like it's off. I looked it up. What you can do is turn off, off skin smoothing and then turn off face detection. So it's off right now. Like I turned off face detection and it still focuses on everything, but if you have this camera and you're wondering or you're debating getting it, um, this is what it looks like with the skin smoothing off and the face detection off. Actually, let me, um, I just heated up pie for breakfast. It smells so good right now, but let me show you in natural lighting. So here's what it looks like with those two things off in natural lighting. And I think it's definitely much better. Let me know what you guys think. Like I don't, from what I can tell, it's not giving me like the glazed over kind of look right now, just cause like a normal camera. So that's exciting. I'll have more camera updates coming in the next vlog, but I'm just like majorly testing out the best vlog camera uh, setup right now. And I, I already had the Canon M50 and I actually had one of the lenses that people are recommending. So I have like this other setup I'm gonna test, I think in the next vlog, but I also ordered a Sony more wide angle lens for this camera. So, but it seems like for the most part, you guys really like the Sony over the Canon, the Sony A5100, this one, over the Canon G7X Mark III, because that one never focuses and it just doesn't look as good. Cheers. Also other update as far as the Dalgona. So I filmed the Dalgona, trying Dalgona thing clip a few weeks ago. Since then, I've tried to make that thing Literally about 10 times. You guys did give me lots of tips though on Instagram, so I will take those into, uh, what? I'm gonna do those. This mirror is freaking great. Normally it would be like way too dark in here for me to see because of the foam boards that like block my natural lighting. Let's use MAC Medium Deep, my really skin finish as a bronzer. Use this in an IGTV video. By the way, I did like a thick wing smoked wing in an IGTV video and I kind of wish I filmed that for YouTube because I really like the way it turned out. I used this in that video I think or the other IGTV but yeah I kind of want to like either recreate it or I don't know. I'm wishing that put that one on YouTube. I think actually the Charlotte Tilbury, I did a Charlotte Tilbury one brand tutorial that I think might actually be going up after this video. I keep like pushing back that upload because there's just other videos that I want to get up first. And this I tested in that video in, you guys, it's bomb, spoiler alert. So I'm just using the lightest shade. It is a limited edition. I feel like some of the best products that brands make are only available for a limited time. Like the Hourglass, which by the way, I had some questions on Twitter from people that noticed the Hourglass ambient strobe lighting palette is back, like they're bringing it back. And if it's, if I still think it's worth it, 100%, yes. That is one of my favorite highlighting palettes. Sorry about the blender. I think he's making some kind of peanut broccoli noodle thing. I eat whatever that guy makes. Everything is amazing. I swear he could open up like a bowl tr food truck or something. And what kind of videos have been your favorites to watch lately? I feel like all I'm wanting to watch are vlogs, which is probably why I've been like making more vlogs. I don't know, there's something about them that just feels so chill and like relaxing to watch. I love watching Tyler and Jessica Braun's vlogs, Leanne Says vlogs. I was watching some older vlogs where I had the eyelash extensions and it's kind of making me want them again. I don't know, it's like, it's hard to film with them, especially when I'm doing like full on makeup looks. It's hard because they they just get in the way of actually doing makeup and stuff and then you have to be really careful with how you remove them. But I freaking love the way they look. Where am I? <laughs> Why am I having issues? There we go. Wow. Uh oh. Oh no, I did bring him in. Thought my fan was still on the charger. I think I'm gonna use some of my Makeup Geek shadows and then just go in with this shade right here for the lid. It's like a, kind of just matches my shirt, like a champagne kind of tan. Whatever I'm like, I don't know what I wanna do on my eyes. I just want something to look good and be quick on a daily basis. I'll usually go in with just any combo of the matte shades in here, right? And I think I'm literally just gonna put that champagne shade on the lid with my finger. Oh my God. This would be such a pretty bridal shade. He's a little CoverGirl exhibitionist. I don't think I want to do anything on the lips. We're about to eat. And also I'm just not really feeling lip products lately. I end up just like wiping them off. Unless it's like a chapstick. I've been really liking the Billy tinted chapstick. Actually I have a lip stain I've been kind of wanting to test. Maybe I'll use that. 
this is the ink stain. Not sure if I'm in the mood for like a this intensive a lip right now, but it looks really pretty. It's called Purdy Red. Oh, this is gonna be like full on, full on red. Yeah, I'm not not in the red mood right now. I feel like I also might look like Where's Waldo or something. Wipe that right off. Let's just go in with good old Billy. Here's the quick look. Let's go eat. Here it is in front of the window too. <laughs> what? So pro making scallion pancakes, but kind of improvising, <laughs> kind of not making them right. garlic powder and garlic salt because they need a little more flavor and then the sauce is super good. I'll leave, leave the link to the recipe down below but that sauce is well. <laughs> 